to you. I've already prepped my face with Village Barber Shaving Oil. My razor is going to be this Razor Rock three-piece game changer razor if I don't drop it. It's the one of the two with the least aggression and uh, that has the halo handle on it, which I'm still getting used to. And my soap is going to be this Declaration Grooming Chatillion Lux Confluence uh, soap with the St. Louis flag on it representing the confluence of the Mississippi and Missouri rivers just upriver from St. Louis and the Fleur de Lis since St. Louis was a French town originally. And I'm using my conversational shaving synthetic brush by Frank Shaving with the G4 synthetic knot. I've lathered in the Sterling collapsible shaving bowl. Let me try to get a lather started here and I hope you're all doing well. Hope your weekend's good and I hope you have a great week ahead. Well, and someone's at my door, I'll be right back. I had to get my neighbor lady's phone. She left it outside and I retrieved it for her. Same neighbor lady that came by yesterday, or not yesterday, last week for something. I forget what that was about. She needed a soda pop or something last week. So I'm just getting the lather started here. Bowl make, makes a nice lather. It doesn't always transfer well to my face, but I think it'll be all right. Very soft soap this is. Pleasant smelling. And there we go. Should be ready to get started here. Let me move some things here. Set the brush aside, wet the razor. And pass one with the grain. Here we go. I have to use a light touch because even though this is the less a grazer of the two of the two types of this razor, the game changer, it did bite me last week. I didn't use it on my video shave, but I used it in one of my shaves of the day, which I may not have even taken a picture of, I don't remember. Pretty heavy handle, this halo handle that came with it. But I'd heard so many people saying such good things about this razor that I thought I would give it a try. I think it's stainless steel. If not, it's made of some kind of really good metal. Pretty heavy. Seems like it's handle and head heavy. And your balance point, if I can show this to you without dropping it, your balance point is somewhere in there. I'm not going to try to get it exactly, but well, there you go. Yeah, there it is. Your balance point's right there. Excuse me. I hear people talking out in the hallway. I had bought several things from Declaration Grooming, their Chatillion Lux line, which originally came out of St. Louis. Excuse me. So back to doing a light, fairly light touch here on the neck. Each one of these game 
change of razors is supposed to have its own serial number. I haven't really looked closely at mine. I'm just getting used to it after, well, this being my second use of it. And the second use of the blade in here, in case I didn't show you, which I don't think I did. It's an Astra blade on its second use, which came a pack of those, a top, uh, came with another razor, a vintage razor that I bought. And I thought, since I've had good luck with those blades before, I might put one in this razor. So second use of the green Astra blade in this. Yeah, for the least aggressive of these two uh, Game Changer razors, this one seems to be uh, well aggressive enough for me, so I guess I have a baby face. And now I will pause here, pop out, pop back in, freshly lathered, for a second pass across the grain. Okay, time to go across the grain now. For me, the jury's still out on this razor. I guess you could say currently I'm underwhelmed by it. But I don't hate it. I've got a couple of razors that I guess I should say I hate, but they uh, cost me like a dollar. So, what do you want for a dollar, right? And actually only one of those I really hate because the head on the thing is a horrible piece of aluminum or something that doesn't it doesn't do well for blade alignment something that was thrown in with an order I got from somewhere thrown in free actually so I don't know if there was even a dollar involved Unless there was extra postage. One of these days I'll pull that out and try to shave with it again. I did once in one of the old videos that I ended up erasing. And I guess it's no wonder I erased certain videos. All right. got to be careful I don't open up some wounds from the other day, from yesterday, actually. Having pretty good luck overall with these Declaration Grooming soaps, especially with the Chatillion Lux line, which have very nice scent. Scent strength of about a 3 out of 10, and then I think it builds somewhat from there. All right. <clears throat> I'm somewhat taciturn today. I'm kind of wanting to get the shave over with. Which doesn't make for a great video, I'm afraid. Usually I have a lot more to say, and I can always run my mouth and say a whole lot of nothing at all. But regarding the shave, I can say so far it is okay. I just have to keep remembering to use that lighter touch with this razor, which is kind of heavy for me. I seem to do better usually when I buy vintage razors, ones made by Gillette or Schick or whomever from the distant past. OK, 
cut paper over here. Now I have two old Schick Eversharp razors, one of which shaves beautifully and the other one tends to bite me. Well, last night is kind of a challenge. I believe it was last night or the night before I used the uh, one that tends to bite me and tried to do the best I could with that. And I think I've already bitten myself or opened up something over here using this razor. Trying to go light, trying to use a gentle, gentle-ish touch here. Okay, I'm going to stop right there, pop out, pop back in, freshly lathered for a third pass that way against the grain. A little more than a day and a half worth of growth here. Against the grain, starting on the neck. Usually I like shaving a lot more than I am today. Today I really just want to get it over with, get it recorded, get it posted. Are the products here really that bad that would that it would make me want to do so? Not necessarily. These are pretty good products overall. And I believe for the most part I could recommend them. Although the jury is still out for me and this razor. Although a lot of gentlemen swear by this razor. Oftentimes they swear by the more aggressive of the two versions. I forget the... Uh, the point whatever millimeters or centimeters it is in the gap but uh, this is the least of the two least aggressive and it seems mighty aggressive for me at least right now so we'll move to the face now Congratulations and thank you to those of you who have been, mostly thank you to those of you who have been watching my videos. Some of you have been watching older ones too. I appreciate that. One gentleman in particular. And I'm terrible with names, so I'll have to get his name later and thank him more earnestly. He's left me some nice comments on these videos. They're not all like this, and some of them I'm actually more excited about shaving. I guess it's because this isn't my normal time to shave. I'm shaving a little early. Okay. I think I knocked to the camera there, maybe. Most of our snow has melted, but we practically had a blizzard here uh, last night and the night before. Mostly uh, blizzard level winds, if nothing else. And we did have snow that accompanied that. But it got into the 40s Fahrenheit today. I don't know what that would be Celsius, but well up over freezing. Now I'm going to pop out, pop back in for pickup time. Ah, it's on my face, it's on my face, ah. Pickup time, ladies and gentlemen. Pickup time, yay. The magical clock.
Magical clock lets us know that it's pickup time. <coughs> Excuse me. Rinse the razor. Still quite a bit of feedback there. Sometimes it's hard to get all these trouble spots and touch-ups, try to get them BBS. There's always a danger of overshaving. And as much as I hate to say it, it's true, I'm at the bottom of my personality today. But that is feeling quite a bit better, but there's still some spots there. But that's about it right now. Mr. Towel, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Mm. oh, wow. Oh. Well, at least a DFS shave, if not a BBS shave. More than passable. And a pleasant shave. Considering that I really wasn't into the shave today, I'm sorry, but just being honest with you, just what didn't feel it. Then something I just wanted to get over with today, another chore, which <clears throat> this hobby unfortunately becomes like at times, not all the time, but at times. So I don't think this video will necessarily set the world on fire except for those of, li uh, those of you that like to hear about my life and what I have to say. There have been in the past a few of you that like to hear what I actually have to say about this, that, and the other thing. Others would prefer I just shut up and shave, I'm sure. Okay, well, I started off off camera. I prepped my face with Village Barber tea tree oil. or not tea tree oil. It's just shaving oil, but it's very good stuff. I do have some tea tree oil. I didn't use it this time. My brush has been this frank shaving, conversational shaving brush, the official brush of this channel, the G4 synthetic knot. And I think he's come out with a G5 synthetic knot, which might be even better. <coughs> My razor has been this uh, Game Changer razor by Razor Rock, the least, uh, least aggressive, aggressive, sorry, can't talk the least aggressive of the, of the two with the halo handle as it's called and in there on its second use was an astro green blade my bowl was this very handy collapsible shaving bowl by sterling and in there 
the very nice Declaration Grooming Chatillion Lux line of Confluence soap, reminiscent of St. Louis. And let's see, now I've got to pop out and grab something. I'll be right back. Here is the very nice Robert's Rose Water, an alcohol free toner that's good for the face. Put some of that in the hand down here. Set that aside, get it going in the hand. A little on the wrists maybe, behind the ears, temple. But it's gonna go all over the back of the neck, the forehead, the eyelids. The nose above the lip, under the eyes. Very nice light rose smell on that. I'll put the cap back on that, show you again. And now some of the Declaration Grooming Chatillion Lux Confluence Aftershave Splash. So I'll uncap that get that going in the hand. That's got a nice restrictor on it so we don't pour it all out by accident. Get that going in the hand. A little on the wrists. Up on the temples. Behind the ears. Quite a bit of sting on that. It means it's got some alcohol in it that's doing its job. Very nice. Kind of an earthy scent to this soap. Kind of a pleasant earthy scent. Maybe like Miss 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 Mississippi mud and grass, although I don't think that's what they're going for. I don't know what the scent notes are. And if they say it's in very small print, but it's kind of an earthy scent on both that and the soap. Uh, not overly so, but just mildly so. Finally, one more thing, and then I'll let you go. It's the Nivea Men Original Post Shave Balm. Hard to find in stores, but easy to find online, I come to find out. Just a little bit of that, set that aside, get that going. I hope your week goes well. Things have just been a little slow around here. But sometimes slow is good. It gives you time to sit back and reflect on things. Maybe next time I'll return to shaving later in the day when I usually have my personality going. Right now my personality's on hold. And if I had a personality, I'd be dangerous as someone once said. Good products nonetheless. Good gear, good products, good hardware, software. So sometimes even uh, an uneventful time shaving can be a very nice time shaving, if you know what I mean. Thank you. I'm out of here. Peace to you all, and uh, take care of one another.